Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we are going to be doing a playthrough of Pipeline. This one's designed by Ryan Courtney and published by Capstone Games. This came out last year, 2019, uh, and so we're going to play it today. Yeah, so this is actually coming straight off of our shelf. But we did mention playing through Curious Cargo, which is the two-player only uh, thinky filler by the same designer, Ryan Courtney, kind of built along the same a world as Pipeline. In honor of the pre-orders, which are ending on Monday the 17th, we figured we would play this one and kind of walk you through it and show you uh, some the similarities between the two. Last year, we made a tutorial on how to play this game. So for this playthrough, we're not going to go into the nitty gritty details. We will leave a link right over here. So if you want to check that out, take a look at that and then come on back. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to go from there. Uh, so we're going to get started. But before we do, we would like to kindly ask that you please turn on your Klingon subtitles just in case we make any rules mistakes. And if you enjoy content like this and would like to see more, please consider subscribing. Without further ado, we are going to get started. Ready? So, yep. All right. So if you'd please direct your attention to the center of the table, we have the beautiful pipeline board. Now, this is actually illustrated by Ian O'Toole. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a lot of the Lacerda games that we were featuring feature his artwork. And so it's kind of nice to see a, a different spin on some of his work. Some of his stuff, yeah. So, and like Naveen mentioned, we're not going to talk about every single rule in this game. We're going to do a brief overview and then we will explain how the game is played as we play. So the basic gist is we are trying to build our own personal network of pipes with these tiles in order to refine oil. And so in this game, oil comes in three different types. There's orange, gray, or silver, and blue. There are also four different types of oil. There's the really basic unrefined oil, which is crude oil. There's low grade, which is every, all the oil symbols kind of look like this like water droplet. Mm -hmm. And so there's low grade, which is like slightly slightly filled in. There's mid grade, which is in the middle, and then the high grade, which is a completely filled in droplet. So the game is played over the course of three years, and this is the round tracker up here. Each year gets shorter and shorter. So for the first year, we're going to have eight actions. The second year, it's six. And then the last year, it's only four. So over the course of, of you know, all those years, we're going to try to amass as much money as we can. At the end of the game, whoever has the most money wins. And so on your turn, you, you're actually just going to take one action. There's a possibility of optionally taking a second action at a price, but basically all of the worker placement spots, the majority of them are here in this kind of like cross in the middle. And so we're just going to kind of go over them briefly. The main thing in the middle here is we have four different markets, right? We have the crude market, which is up here for this space here. And then we have three refined markets, which have to do with these three markets down here. Mm -hmm. These are the places that you can go in order to buy and sell oil. Right. So the crude market, you're pretty much, and you have, everybody has a worker. So on your turn, you, you put your worker out onto the action spot and you taking an action spot doesn't block it off for anybody else. Right. These action spots are all friendly. And so if I were to go to the crude market, I can buy and sell as many of these crude oil barrels as I'd like. The only thing is I must do all of my selling before buying. Mm -hmm. And that's the, the rule for all of the markets. And this is the only market that allows me to purchase all three types of oil. So it gets more and more expensive the less there are. But that is pretty much how the crude market works. The three different refined markets work very similarly. The only difference is in each of the markets, you're only allowed to purchase one type of oil. So in the refined market, you can only purchase blue. Uh, refined market two is just gray, etc. And you can sell the other two types of colors that you are unable to purchase. So that's how the markets work. And whenever you purchase oil, uh, crude oil, they go directly onto your player board like this. And they're stored in these tanks. And so we have five different tanks to start the game with. Each tank can hold two uh, oil and doesn't matter. Any combination of oil types is fine. And so if you want to purchase more of these, then you can go to this action spot here, which is tanks and pipes. And this allows you to purchase tanks and pipes from this specific shop. Mm -hmm. So the, the cheaper ones are $5 each. And then as it gets more expensive, you know, the, the more you go down the row. And the price for the pipes are shown here. It's two for $15 and all four for $40. There's gonna be two pipes per person in each of these shops. So that's why there's only four. Uh, purchasing pipes, we, which we didn't really discuss much of, but whenever you purchase pipes, you must construct your system and leave it. It's like a set it and forget it. You cannot change it once it's once it's been set. Yeah, so we apologize. Maybe some of the, the images aren't as clear. We had to really zoom out today uh, yes. because we can't really anticipate where the pipes are going to go. It's going to be a lot on the fly. So we wanted to give ourselves enough space for that. Right. And so that's tanks and pipes. The other thing that you can do is you can purchase machines and pipes, which is this other shop over here. Pipes are the same price, but the only difference is you're buying machines instead of tanks. And so what machines do is you could place a machine. So say this is my, my pipe network, 
which is, wouldn't be very good, I don't think. But you can place a machine out onto your pipe uh, network, and now at the end of every turn that you take, you can spend $15 to run your machine, and that basically auto auto refines oil for you. Now machines we will talk about again as we play the game because that was probably a little bit confusing. Mm -hmm. uh, the other two actions in this, this cross area here are the upgrades, which is over here. There are five different categories of upgrades and each upgrade type has three different levels. Mm -hmm. So going here allows you to purchase up to two different upgrades and when you purchase them, you block them off for the rest of the year and each upgrade is, is uh, $20. And so they, they allow you to do different things, either immediate effects or kind of an ongoing benefit. So we'll discuss that as we play as well. The only other takeaway for that is when you purchase an upgrade, you can also optionally block off another mm -hmm. type of upgrade so that your opponents can't purchase it. So that's kind of how that works. And then the last section here is the contracts and loans. And this is where you can uh, take out a loan for basically an extra $15. If you do so, you get a penalty cube. And the penalty cube goes in the bottom right hand corner of your player board and at the end of the game this is going to be minus a certain amount of money depending on how many of them you have so the first one is minus 20 dollars the second one is minus 50 minus 90 etc so and once you acquire these there's no way to get rid of them you right. will pay that fee yeah so it gets more and more expensive and uh, the other thing besides pulling out a loan is you can take contracts so there are contracts here and what they do is basically you can take up to three of them one per row and when you take a contract, you're going to decide, do I want to defer it for a year or do I want it to be active? And what contracts do is it's basically your own way of selling type, certain types of oil that only you can fulfill. So this specific contract is asking for a high grade blue and a low grade blue. So if I make it active, I can, whenever I have that combination of oil, I can piecemeal them mm -hmm. and it doesn't take an action to fulfill these, these contracts. The only thing about them is if there's ever a year where I was not able to fulfill the contract, then it goes away and I get a penalty cube. That's the other way to get those penalty cubes. Right. So you have to be very cautious of contracts. You should be able to fulfill them. Yeah, so just think of those contracts as an annual recurring commitment. Yes. Every single year you must commit to, to doing that or take the penalty. If you don't want to do contracts, there are also orders. And orders, you, if you notice, there's no action spot for them. Uh, it's the same thing. It, it allows you to uh, earn money by fulfilling the specific order, but the difference is you can't, you cannot actually acquire it to make it your own personal order. Mm -hmm. You can, it's kind of like a race to fulfill them, and you have to fulfill the entire order at once. Yes. You cannot piecemeal it like with the contracts. So once you have whatever combination it's asking for, you can just say, "I'm going to fulfill that order right there." You would take it, turn in the goods, and then you get the money depending on the, the grade of oil that you used to fulfill or the grade of oil it was asking for actually right. because you can always pay a higher grade oil than it's asking for right. yeah that is a really really a uh, general overview of how the middle actions work uh anytime you see an action with this kind of like red circular symbol that means you can change your turn order for the next round and so that's only going to be seen on these four tiles um, after you're done taking an action, if you took one of the actions in the middle cross, then you can optionally take its partner action. So if I took, if I went to the crude market, I can spend $10, because that's how much it costs to take a second action, to take the partner action, which is the contracts and loans. And now these actually change from game to game, so mm -hmm. this is just the combination that we're working with this game. Now the last two actions that you can take are not seen in this cross area. The first one is purchasing more uh, pipe tiles from the government tile section here, which are these four quadrants. The difference between purchasing pipes from here and purchasing them from here is that these will never get refilled. These ones are going to get refilled from year to year. These ones are here for the entire game. In year one, only two quadrants in all four of these sections here is going to be open for you to purchase from. And so whoever the first one is to go to purchase a government tiles gets to decide which quadrant to open. So say I'm going to purchase tiles. You, what you do is you put your worker on the tile that you want to purchase. And then additionally, you could purchase up to four more of its surrounding tiles, the one that are directly touching it. So I, could, I have to purchase the one I, I put my person on. And I can additionally purchase this one, this one, this one, and that one. And the price is all here. So it's like one for $5, two for 10, three for 20, et cetera. And then say Naveen were to go next and he were to, to choose to, to purchase tiles as well from the government tiles, then he can open up a second, a second quadrant of his choice. But for the rest of the year, we can no longer touch the other two. Right. In the second year, we get to open a third. And then in the third year, all four quadrants are open. So that is how the government uh, tiles work. 
And then the very last action that you can take on your turn is just manually running your pipes. So the way that that works, and that is the, pretty much the bread and butter. I know we took a long time to get to this point, but that is the bread and butter of this game. So say these are my pipes. I'm just going to kind of arrange them if you don't mind. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm just going to kind of do a thing. Make it okay. work. So say it looks like this. Probably a terrible example. All right, but here we have it. When you, when you get pipe tiles, you can arrange them in any way as long as they're connecting. So colors do not have to match. It is much better if they do, but they don't have to match. Um, in this example, I have a, an orange pipe that's one, two, three, four, five segments long. And I have a blue pipe that's one, two, three, four segments long. So if I had an orange crude uh, barrel of oil in my uh, area here, in my player board, and I wanted to run my pipes, what I would do is I would put my player um, marker on one tile. You can only choose one tile to put it on. Say I put it right... Yeah, I guess I have to put it there. And so what happens is all of the pipes that are involved in that one tile, they all run simultaneously. So then you would consult the chart up here because this tells us how many pipe segments are needed in order to refine oil from one from crude to low, from low to mid and mid to high. So in this, in this situation here, in order to refine crude orange oil from crude to low, I need a pipe segment that's at least five segments long. And that I have in this segment right here. So if I were to manually run this, I would then upgrade my crude orange oil barrel up to low grade. And that is literally how that works. Mm -hmm. If I had two different long uh, orange pipe pipes running through this tile, I wouldn't be able to upgrade it once using one pipe and then again using the other because they're all considered to be running simultaneously. Mm -hmm. So that is a basic gist of how these running these pipes work and, and um, refining oil works. If I have a pipeline that's at least 11 segments in length, then I can upgrade from crude oil all the way to mid-grade oil, just because that is the sum of the two segments. So that is how that works. Uh, and that's pretty much the entire game. Mm -hmm. Once we finish out the third year, then we're going to go into final scoring. And the way that final scoring works is you get money for any of your leftover oil barrels that are on your player board at the price here, which is like $10, $20, or $30, depending on how high grade it is. Right. You also get money for the different pipelines that you have in your pipe network. Um, if you basically look at each pipe and see how far they can refine in one run. Right. And that's how much money you get, 10, you 20, 30. You consult the chart. Right. And then the last thing that we get points for is probably the biggest uh, point maker here. And those are the four valuations that we're working with. So these change from game to game. There are a lot of them that the game comes with. And so we just kind of uh, randomize which ones we use. And so once you get money for all four evaluations, then you pay your penalties and whoever has the most money wins at that point. That's pretty much the whole thing, right? Sure, yeah. Should we talk about the valuations? Yeah, for everyone else? I kind of wanted to save it for last just so in case anybody skips the teach, then they, they would still know which valuations right. we use. Okay, so the four valuations we're using is, uh, this one right here is you take the value of all the pipelines that are attached to machines. So you assess, you know, eventually once you built up a network, where the machines are, and you just basically follow them out and look at, uh, you know, kind of where, where they would end up on this chart. So if I had a segment of orange that was 11 long, I would get you know up to this grade right here, and so I would get uh, twenty dollars for that one. Mm -hmm. That's just one example. Uh, the next thing we're looking at is value of pipelines that can go all the way from crude all the way to high. Uh, so you, again, you just follow that chart, and that does not have to be attached to machines. That could be anywhere uh, as long as it's uh, contiguous. Uh, this one right here is value of fulfilled orders. So basically, when you fulfill these orders, you're going to take it in your possession. Uh, you'll get the money at the time, but also at the very end of the game that will score a second time. Yeah, so typically these only score once, but because right. we have that valuation out, they're gonna be worth double. Okay, and then this one over here is pretty interesting. It's number of pipeline types that are attached to machines. So there's technically nine pipeline types, uh, three colors and then three grades. So basically you want a variety, it looks like, attached to your uh, machines. You don't wanna have the same exact type of pipelines because you're not going to score uh, for this one as much. So we are going to get started. Um, oh, before we do, let's just read out which upgrades we're using. Okay, yeah, so we're using the government, uh, which is, if you take that, you pay 20 bucks and immediately receive two government tiles uh, from here. In open and then, quadrants. And then, exactly, in open quadrants. And then uh, yearly, you're going to receive one government pipe tile as well. So yeah, that's, that's a level one. So there's active yeah. and passive, and there's level twos and threes, and we'll go through right. those later. Uh, there's engineering, so uh, anytime you have a pipe segment that's at least four in length, 
it'll act as if that pipe uh, segment is really five in length. Mm -hmm. And those go in multiples. So if you have an eight length, then it's really a 10 length. It's ever, so the, the verbiage is every four segments, do you gain an you additional? Get, yeah. So you yeah, get 20% more every yeah. four. Yep. Or 25% more. Uh, right here is refined markets. So the value of all oil is increased by five. So if I was to sell here at 50 and I had that, I would actually sell at 55. But I think the, se the buying value is also more expensive. That's what it says. Yeah, the value of refined oil is increased by $5 when buying or selling. So instead of me buying this blue for five, I would have to buy it for 10. Yeah, that's expensive. Cool, interesting one. Yeah. yeah. Human resources over here allows you to take secondary actions without paying that t uh, $10 fee to go across, right. which is Perfect. pretty nice. And then shops over here is you will immediately take uh, two pipes, I'm sorry, two tanks, and then any one pipe from uh, these two shops that are over here. And then ongoing every year, you're gonna receive two tanks. Yes. And so that's everything. That is everything. I, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Shall we see okay. what goes first? Yeah, let's do it. Oh no, oh, no. It is I who goes first. All right. That's not good for me. Well. Okay. So we start with 40 bucks each. There's no benefit for Monique. Uh, oh, look, we already have me at first. Yeah, it's like it's like the universe knew. There's no benefit. Okay. Okay, I think I'm going to get some pipes. Okay. I'm going to go right over here. So Naveen is going to purchase some government tiles. So he looks like we're opening this quadrant. We are. You have to purchase the one that you're... Correct. So I'm going to buy three on. pipes. I'm going to buy this one, this one, and... This one right here. Okay, so three pipes cost 20 Good. bucks. 20 bucks, there we go. Ooh, you almost underpaid. I almost underpaid, there you go. So now he's gonna take them immediately. And now uh, he does. he's not actually eligible for a secondary action. Correct. And I'm just gonna build this out. Done? Yeah, so now I'm gonna do some accounting here. So uh, you have these little sliders here that allow you to keep track of how long your longest segments are. So uh, for my gray that I have here, this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, from what it looks like. Is that right? One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Okay, so I have gray that can go all the way to seven. Yeah, it and, just keeps track of your longest. Yeah, that way right you don't there. have to keep counting it. And then my blue goes one, two, and then technically my orange goes one. <laughs> okay. Yep. So now back to me. Yeah. Okay, so for my turn, I'm going to go and open a quadrant. I guess I'll go here. Okay. I'm just going to take these three. So one, two, three. Nice. Go. And that's for a 20, right? Uh, 20, yeah, same thing yeah. I did. Oops. Here. Also, we didn't mention this during the teach, but we are set up for a two-player game. So some of these spots are blocked off. In higher player counts, they would be open for other people to go to. Uh, but... There'd be more contracts, more orders. Yeah. More machines, more, more pipes. So it scales. Right. So give me one moment while sure. I figure this out. Well, so that's the end of your turn. There's no secondary action. So right. this will slide here. Turn order stays the same because nobody went to one of these symbol spots. And so it's back to me. Okay, we're gonna go with this. Okay, so what does that do for you? So it looks like I have a one, two, three, four, five. Yep. An orange. And one, that's, one in yeah, blue. one, 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 one blue, one gray. Working on it. Okay. Okay, so uh, we've moved all that round marker, all that stuff, so it's gonna be my turn. Yep, second turn. Second turn, okay. I gotta go get some oil for this pipe that I built. So I'm gonna go to the, I'm gonna go to the crude market over here. Okay. And I'm gonna buy two of these gray for six times two, 12 bucks. Nice. So here goes 15, I'll get three change right now. And uh, I will not be spending the ten dollars I don't have <laughs> to take a secondary, take a secondary action because I only have eight bucks. Okay, so, your turn. I am going to do something very similar, and now I'm realizing I probably should stop chasing you around. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to purchase uh, oil from the crude market. Okay. I have what twenty dollars left. Yeah, I'll buy two of them. Okay. For ten. For ten, yeah. So yeah. five each. Two, two orange. All right, so that's it. Okay. So moving on to the third action. So nothing changed. Back to you. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my marker piece and I'm gonna run my pipe. So this is the first time doing it. So I'm gonna place it on this tile over here. Uh, and because I know it goes up to seven segments, uh, to go from crude to low grade, it only requires four. So I'm gonna take one of these up there. And that's my turn. I guess I'll do the same. Okay. I'm yeah, going to place this right here, which will allow me to run this pipeline. And it just moves one of my uh, crude barrels up to low grade right. because it is a five segment four inch pipe and that's all it takes yep okay perfect so, so action number four number four still you 
So I'm actually gonna do the exact same action again. I'm gonna put this here, put it down, and then I'm gonna move this bottom one up here. So I do have the option here. Uh, I could move from low to mid, but I think I'm gonna go from low, I'm sorry, from crude to low over here, because the difference is zero to four or six. So I'm gonna stick with this. Okay, so I need to zag a little bit because I'm just kind of following Naveen's tail here. Okay. So if I do that, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to refine market one. Okay. I'm gonna sell uh, this orange crude oil, or sorry, low grade oil over here for $25. Okay. And so let's get some money back. 25. I'm going to spend the $10 to take the secondary action to buy upgrades. And then with the rest of my money, oh no, I have five dollars left. With twenty dollars, I'm going to purchase an upgrade. Okay. So I am purchasing the this one, the shops. Nice. That's so good. the shops upgrade allows me. It says immediately receive two tanks and one shop pipe tile from either shop. And every year at the start of my first uh, turn, I get to receive two tanks. So this is now mine. And so now I'm blocking that off. I'm not going to purchase a second upgrade, but I can block off a second type of upgrade. So let's block this one, the government one. Government. Yeah. Shutting down the government, huh? Shutting it down for one year. Okay. Don't forget your two So uh, I get tanks. my two tanks, which are going to come from the tank shop. And so now they're just a little bit more expensive. I'm going to put them here. Yeah. Another let's vertical. Just do that. Yeah. yeah. Another vertical. I don't know. Uh, and then I also receive one shop pipe tile from either shop. So I'm going to take this one. That makes sense. And go like that. So now I have two. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and a one, two, three, four, five. Nice. So that is is looking okay. And because I took this action, it has that red circle on it. I get to choose turn order. So I'm going to go first. Okay. For the next year. That's it, right? I think that's it. Okay. So next action. Oops. So that is one, two, three, four, our fifth action. So we're halfway, halfway through the first year. Well, I need money now. Yep. <laughs> I don't know if I took an upgrade too early. So for my action, I'm just gonna run my pipe and it's gonna go up to low grade. Okay, done. Yep. All right, I'm gonna go to refined market one over here and I'm gonna sell both of my low grade uh, oil to this area here. Nice. So it's gonna be 30 times two, so 60 bucks. And I will take it here. Where are you? <laughs> Here, you need something? 50, 60. Uh, so I am going to, however, then move over here. So just the same thing that I did? Well, you know what? I'm going to buy a... While I'm here, I'm going to buy one blue oil. Okay, it's going to cost me five bucks. So that's five. Plus I'm going to move over. So it's ten. It's going to cost me ten. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do an upgrade. So these two are blocked off. So these are my three options here. Uh, human resources is nice. I can buy, I, I can basically take secondary actions without paying that 10 bucks. Okay, the one I'm actually gonna buy is engineering over here. So it's the one that uh, for each uh, four segments of pipe, it acts as if there's a fifth segment. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna buy- it Extends by one. Extends by one. I'm gonna buy this one for uh, 20. 20 bucks. So I get 30 back. And then I will block out the one that I was eyeing I, I do have the option of buying another one, but I think I need some money here. Mm. So I would like to have two of them, but I can't. So I'm going to block this one out, and now this one's out. The only one left is this one over here. All right. All right. And I, I will go first. Okay. So he switched around our turn order. So that means you get to go again now. I do. All right. Go for it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and buy uh, gov more government tiles. Oh, so interesting. I'm going to go here, and I think I'm going to buy uh, three of them for 20 bucks. Okay. So one, two. So I'm going to take this one that I'm on, plus this one, and I think this one over here. And I'm hoping I'm doing the right thing here. So I'm going to figure this out, this configuration. Wow, it's a lot. How I can do this. Okay, I will keep it like this. So now I have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then my blue goes one, two, three, four. Uh, so this nine really acts as an 11 because I have this card. Okay. And then this uh, four really acts as a five 
Okay. And then this is a three. Okay, I'm gonna do something uh, probably boring. <laughs> I'm gonna refine market two, and I'm okay. just gonna sell this low grade for 30 bucks. 30 bucks, yeah. That's it. Are you gonna I'm spend not... 10 bucks nope. to move around? Okay. I am not. 10, 20, 30. When you're only earning $30 at a time, $10 <laughs> is a lot. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, so this is gonna move Penultimate over. Penultimate action, Naveen. Yes, I stay here. What are player. you gonna do? I need to get some stuff. Gosh, I wish this wasn't just hanging out by itself over here. <laughs> I know. It's so nice. I did that. That was me. <laughs> do I take a loan? A single loan? All right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take a loan. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to contracts and loans. So I'm going to get uh, $15 and I take one of these red cubes. I don't know if this is the right thing to do. I give you a $15. Okay, please. cool. And then I will take a contract. I am going to take... Boy, do I want a contract? I hate these things. But it's so nice to not have to spend a turn to sell. Yeah. So I will take, I'm going to take this contract right over here. Two mediums. And I'm going to make it uh, inactive for the round because I would have to fulfill it by the end of this this year. Okay. So I'm, it's going to go face down over here. Normally there's a spot over here, but in the interest of space, I'm just going to keep it like that. Okay. Face down. All right. If you ever see it face up, that means it's active. Oh, so it's deferred. You're it's deferring deferred, this. Yeah. Okay. This so is okay. not going to be. You'll flip it over. Uh, for year two. Year. Yeah. Okay, so my turn? And I will go first. Oh. <laughs> to be clear. Well, actually, do I want to spend 10 bucks? If I spend 10, then I can go get my stuff. Okay, I am going to, unfortunately, yes, sorry. I'm going to spend 10 bucks sure. to move so I can buy oil. And I'm going to buy uh, one of these for $8. So five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And now I have this. Okay, I, uh, I'm gonna buy some more pipes. So I'm gonna go here. Okay. I'm gonna buy two of them for 10. Nice. So. It and which other one? You have two options from there. This one and this one. Okay. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm messing up all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what is what anymore. I have one, two, three. How much would a third one be, $10 more? Uh, $10 more, yeah. And the only one you can take is this one right here. Gosh, but it saved me time. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Because I put my person here. You did, yeah. So the only one you're eligible for is the one above it. Well, can I can I, can I? I just say I put it here? Yes. <laughs> do you care? Yeah. Yes, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so I put it there, and I'm going to take this one. Nice. That makes way more sense. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeesh. Seven on gray. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I like your infrastructure. You got a good one. An orange and still one on blue. One on blue. That's it. So you are take, you're taking first, right? Yeah, first, yeah. All right, so last action of the year. Gosh, I want to be what? able to run pipes, but this is, gonna be? is killing me because I have one, two, three, four, which is technically five because of my card. But to go from crude to low grade, it requires six. Mm. So I might have to do... A, a turn here that I'm not very happy with. I might have to. <laughs> I'm gonna spend this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and just buy that solo tile. Oh! I know. I know. <laughs> it was. It's just. Gosh. That was. That's something. It's a turn, I guess. <laughs> Dang it! There you go. It's but a move. Now I have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which is technically that. So I'm gonna leave it at eight, uh, because. Hey, that might be the game-winning move. Maybe right there. Maybe because that 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 helped you quite. That, uh, that's a that's a good one. Yeah. It works. Yeah. Okay, so for my last action, I'm going to the crude market. I'm yes. gonna buy some wares. Oh gosh, everything is so expensive. It's very expensive, yeah. Okay, I will take. Uh, I'm gonna purchase two orange. Okay. So that's fourteen dollars. Leaves you with the buck. One, two, yeah. Four. There you go. The setup. Wait, ten. So seven, twelve, yeah. thirteen. You had fifteen going into it. So there you go. All right. So that's it. I don't have enough money to take a secondary action. Mistakes are being made yes, over probably. and over again. Yep. <laughs> wow, your pipe network's looking nice. Yeah. So we are at the end of year uh, one, Correct. going into year two. So we have this refresh phase. And so the way that refreshing the market works is we are going to refill these. These are all going to go away. Yes, they're out of the game. They're out of the game. We have four new ones per, um, per shop that right. we're going to be working with. Uh, these contracts that are on the far right are gone. They're out of the game. Mm -hmm. Everything else slides over, and we add 
some new ones. The orders all stay the same for the entire game. Wow, look at that. Three massive <laughs> ones. Oh, look at this tiny one. Okay. So I refilled the tanks. We also get these taken off. So one of these come off, only one of these come off. That this comes, one comes off. off. And then we're going to refill. Uh, here it looks like everything gets refilled. There's four. And um, I'm referring to this marker here. It tells us how many to refill and how many to pull off. So if you can... Yeah, I'll do that cubes, and I'm going to hand you four tiles. I think oh. that's it. Yep, I think we're it. all set up for gear two. Yep. So Naveen is first again. Yes, I am first. And I finally have a network that I can work with here. Yeah, your network's so, looking oh, so, good. Uh, contracts are supposed to now go flipped up. Anything that was deferred. So now I'm committed to getting this going right mm -hmm. here. So I am going to go ahead and take this, uh, my little meeple, and place it here. And I'm going to run the two pipes that it's on. So we have blue, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I am one shy over here because it requires 11 to go from, from here all the way up here. So I go there. And then my gray is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I have a little bit of overkill there. So that one's going to go all the way up. I'm going to go ahead and piecemeal this contract right over here. I'm going to put this one out onto there and I can take funds right away. Yes, and that is the benefit of, 35 of bucks. having a contract. Yeah, so that's 35 bucks to me. And now it is uh, your turn. All right, I'm going to run my pipes. So here we go, right here. And this is, I'm going to put it here, which allows me to run both uh, orange pipe networks. So this, these both just go up one to low grade. And that was our first action. Nice. That was fast. Oh, actually, that was first action. Oh, and these this all come off right here. Two. So we can take these off. These are now eligible. Once again. Um, on my turn, at the start of my turn, I was supposed to receive two tanks. Yes. Okay. That because of my shop Your ongoing upgrade. benefit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. So let's put that there. And let's put this. I guess we'll put that there. Yep. Even it out. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put this here. Okay. Got some options there. See? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go to upgrades over here. I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a little upgrade. I'm gonna spend 20 bucks and I'm gonna take this upgrade, the government one, which is immediately receive two government pipe tiles. Uh, and then every year, which will be only one more year, I get another government pipe tile. So I'm gonna take this, that's gonna block this out here. And then I will choose to block out, I will block out this one right here that allows secondary actions to be free. Okay. Okay. And so now I'm going to immediately take uh, two government pipe tiles. So I can take from here, here, or one of the other two spots because we're in a new year. So a new segment gets opened up. Okay. I'm going to take from this section here. So this, this is now at the new open quadrant. So this is going to be my first one I'm okay. going to take. And I'll go like this. So that's now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, so now this is going to go to, I'll just put it on top of the one so I know I can do that. So that's one of them. And then the second one I could take, I should probably get in the orange game. So maybe I'll take this one right over here. Wow, your pipe network is looking glorious. <sighs> there we go. Okay. Oh my so gosh. now this is now a five right there. And then that is my turn. And I will decide to go first. Mm. Of course not? you will. Why not? Oh my god, Naveen, you're killing me here. No. Oh, Josh. <laughs> this whole thing. Yeah, All right. exactly. um, you know, I'm just going to run my pipes again. Okay. Boom. And so both of these are going to go to mid grade oil. Are any of them big enough to. Do you have a. No, it's spinal? eight and six. Eight and six, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So. Nice. Okay, so that's the end of that. Action number three, it is Slide back up. Back to you. Okay, so I think I need to go buy some oil now. So I'm gonna go to the crude market where I can get a little bit of everything. So I will buy, let's see, I have 20 bucks. So I can buy one of each, I think. Five plus six, plus, yeah, okay. So I'll buy one of each. So five, six, and seven. So that is 18. Yeah. So I'm left with two bucks. All right, gotta make this work. Good luck. Good luck to me, okay. Are you, oh, you can't take the secondary action. I cannot okay. take it. Yeah, I don't have that I'm, free one. I'm going to go to refine market one. Nice. And I'm going to sell these both back here. So $45 dollars each. Nice, you get 90 bucks. 90 finally. Now you're, now you're working. Oh, now you're working. This is the first time I've had yes. some kind of, you know, money. Something, yeah. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? All right, there's 90 bucks. 
I'm going to spend $10 of it to hop on over to the upgrades, which will allow me to take first, finally. Mm -hmm. And I'm definitely going to purchase the level two of that of this. Okay. So can I have that, please? So that's twenty dollars. Thank you. Uh, and so that gets blocked off. Correct. What we'll else get... is available? Should I take another one? Uh, you can. Well, this one says that I immediately received two shop pipe tiles and one machine. So now we are in machine territory. Uh oh. And let me just take the two shop pipe tiles real quick. Um, I'm going to take this one. This is one. And I'm going to plop this right there. So now I've got a machine. I'm in business here. And I get one more shop pipe tile. Let's take this one. We'll go like that. So now I have three for blue. Uh, do, now the question is, do I buy a second? If I buy a second one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll Which turn it into 10. 10. Wow, that's powerful. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight will also turn it into, 10. into ten. I am gonna buy the second one. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna buy engineering. Engineering, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So for twenty. That's the same one I have two, that extends her pipe three. segments. This is great. great. Yeah, so the same gonna, one that Navina. So it's gonna block this out, and then naturally it's gonna block this one out, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. And that's it. So you right are going to take your turn? Uh, yes, I believe so. Okay, so I'm going to go first. And we are now in our our fourth action. So now I have to buy some stuff. Yeah. So I'm going to go to the crude market. And I'm going to buy two of the gray. So that's 14 So it's 14. Bucks. So let's start with that. Okay. So here's 20. Give myself back six. I definitely want to buy two orange. So another 12. So... Yep, 10, 11, 12. Uh, Just making it worthwhile, that trip. Okay, I'm gonna end my turn by running my machine. So I have, so we didn't explain fully how machines worked in the beginning. So the way that it works is you put the machine on one half of a pipe tile, and now it completely removes that part of the pipe tile. It's as if it's not there. So it cannot count towards my segments anymore. And any of the pipes that are attached to the machine, there are four sides to it. Uh, but when you pay $15 at the end of your turn, you can automatically run all of them. Mm -hmm. So it's a way of being a little bit more efficient, but it costs a lot of money. So $15, and I'm going to run both this, this silver pipe, which will bring me all the way to mid-grade, because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight segments in length, but I have this engineering upgrade that lets me increase the refinement value by one for every four lengths, which would make it 10, yep. right? Yep. And it moves a, the orange one up to low grade, because I think it's still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Plus I'm one yeah. short of being able to move it all the way up, unfortunately. But that's it for me. Very good. Um, I think it's your turn now, that's right? That's my turn, yeah, okay. All right, well, uh, I think I have to run my pipes. So we're gonna go onto this tile specifically because this encompasses the orange, the blue, and the gray. So my gray is nine plus two because of my card. So that's gonna go to mid gray. My orange is one, two, three, four, five, technically with the card six. Uh, it still just goes to that low grade right there. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. 12, 13, so I can go to the mid grade over here. So I can bypass through this low grade tank and place that right over there. And so now I'm also going to uh, satisfy this contract right over here. So that contract, my obligation to it is done. Uh, it is a mid grade contract, so I get 35 bucks. Nice. So one, five, and two tens. That's nice, being able to just uh, do that. Yeah, I didn't use a machine, but because machines are important in this game because two of our end game valuations require machines to score points. So you got a nice little leg up there. Okay, your turn. Hmm. Oh, okay. So we're going into our fifth action, the mm -hmm. ultimate action for the for year two. I'm gonna go to refine market three there. And I'm going to sell this mid-grade gray oil for $45. Okay. And I'm actually going to purchase an orange one as well. As okay. well, yeah. So then I get whatever 45 minus 7 is 30 38. 38 bucks okay. back. Yeah. 
15, 20, 30, eight. Uh, and then 15 of this is actually going to go are you going to back. Move, are you going to move to the next segment? No. Okay. So I spent $15 to, to run your machine. To run my machine. Got it. So I'm running my machine and this gray is going to go all the way up here. Just like you did before. Just like I did before. And then the orange is going to go to low grade. That's my turn. Very nice. Back to you. Okay. So it is my turn now. Mm -hmm. My second to last turn here, huh? Uh, okay, I'm going to do the exact same thing I just did. I'm going to run this one more time. So this is going to go all the way to the high. This is going to go, this one has the ability to go one, two. And then this one right here is just going to stay uh, right where it is because this is only one, two, three, four, five. Oh, technically six. Okay. Because of this right here. That allows that to go there. Nice. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually satisfy this order right over here. Yeah, so I, I can overpay on it, but it is what it is. So... This one is going to go here. That's a high grade. This one technically is overpaying. And this one is also overpaying right over there. Yeah, but he only gets the money for whatever it's asking. Whatever for. it wants. Yeah. So 55 plus 45 plus 30. Uh, that is 130 bucks. I wow, think. Yeah. Naveen. And then because the valuation at the end of the game, this will score a second time. So I'll keep that there. Here's your 100. Uh huh. 10, 20, 30. Wow, good job. Yeah, okay, that so cash. that's that. Now I need to go do something with this money. Okay, so that is my turn. All right, final turn of the year. And then the next year is only going to be four actions. Yeah, just four so actions, I know. Wow, that's <laughs> limiting. Okay, gosh, I don't have enough money to do anything. Mm. I'm going to go to the, I'm going to go to Refine Market too. Make some sales. And... I'm going to sell one low grade for 30 okay. for 30. Are you going to buy a gray? And I'm going to buy a gray. Yeah. So take 24 10, back. 20, one, two, three, four. Just buy one gray. Four. Yeah. Just one gray. Okay. And then I am, should I move over to tanks and pipes? That's the question. So I definitely need one, two, three, four, five. Definitely need that to run my machine. I have $32 left. So I could spend 10 bucks to go over to tanks and pipes. I'm gonna spend $10. Okay. Moving over to tanks and pipes. I'm going to maintain first. Nice. And here I'm just going to spend 15 to buy two shop uh, shop pipes. So, so they must come from this section Yes, here. they have to come from that section. Okay, I'm definitely gonna take this one. Okay. I'm going to just scoot it in right there, nice. <laughs> which gives me some blue access. And then I just need one more, <laughs> literally one more to make this one longer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because I think that would be good. Maybe this one? Let's do this one. Yeah, it's pretty nice. That'll fit right there. Sure. <laughs> Let's go right there. All right. So now this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, but it's technically twelve. Twelve. So yeah, that's good. And my blue is one, two, three, four, five, six, which was is technically seven. Okay. It's pretty good. And then I'm going to run my my machine. So here's ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It's fifteen dollars to run my machine, and it's going to go. It's actually now going to take this all the way to mid grade, which doesn't really matter. And then the gray goes to mid grade. And I'm going to fulfill this order right here. I wonder. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to fulfill this order wow. right here. So that's going to be two mid grade and two low grade, technically, even though I'm over Overpaying. over refining for one so order. So 90 plus uh, 60, 150. Yeah. So I think it's pretty much like the same as yours. Uh, I think yours is a little bit better. Yeah, 150. Okay, so these go over there. I'm gonna give them to you. Sure. And now this is an order that stays with me. So 150, okay. And that's my turn. So it's back to you for your last action of the year. Of the year, huh? Of the year. Sheesh. Is that your stress face? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are you feeling the burn of the end of the second year? Yeah, okay. well, I didn't like the fact that you got the 150 to my 130. That, that... That's it's only good. twenty dollars. I know, but I have this penalty cube over here. Oh. That's another. Yeah, you and then that's going to double because of the end game scoring. So it's not. It's really forty. We'll see what happens. So, I need to get a machine. This is a. Uh, this is part of the game is getting machines. So I, I gotta get one. So I'm gonna go to this area here. Okay. Machines and pipes. 
It's gonna cost me 30, plus I'm gonna pick up these two tiles right over here. So it's gonna cost me 30 plus another 15, so that's 45 total. Mm -hmm. So 10, 20, 30, 40, and five. And let me just put these where I need to put them real quick. So I need to make it so that this, then I could put this one technically here and get other things going. So one, two, three, four, which is really, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it like that. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this actually gets downgraded back to six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This goes up to seven. And then my blue is now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is gonna be nine. Three. Nice, wow. It, so, it got downgraded because you, because you split the, exactly. the pipe. That's Exactly, but now I have things to work on yeah, from there. So That's fantastic. We shall see. So what did you do there? You went to Machines and Pipes? Yes. And you purchased... So, and then I'll go first. You spent all the money already? I did, yeah. $45 went bye-bye. Uh, and then I could technically go to Refine Market 3, but yeah. there's nothing there that I really, really want. Okay. So that is the end of year two. Mm -hmm. We are now going into our last four turns, which is going to be year three, and we're going to do the whole refresh uh, yeah, thing that we right. did last time. So I will handle, here, these two go out. I'll take care of these cubes over here. And, okay, so my pipe network is kind of encroaching in you this just, shop here, so I'm gonna make it into a line. Yeah, just one line, that sounds good. Or, I think that's everything, right? Is there, oh, and then all the upgrades need to be reset. Yes, okay, there we go. Great. So we are now in turn one of year three, beginning okay. with Naveen. Yes, me, boy. Well, <laughs> four turns. Four turns, okay, so. Can it be done? Four turns, gosh. I know. <laughs> I wanna get points, but my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go to upgrades. And I'm gonna buy the upgrade, the second level one of this, which is the government. And what, oh, before I do this, I'm supposed to receive uh, one government tile here for free. That's passive. For free. So I will I will take this after. Let me let me grab this first. Uh, okay. I was gonna grab this one right here, been eyeing, and that should continue on my little gray situation here, <laughs> and the, allows the green situation to keep going. So then now I'm gonna pay that twenty bucks for this upgrade, uh, which is this one right here. So this one, what it says is immediately receive four government pipe tiles, just straight up. So I'll take that and nice. four pipe tiles. I paid. The 20, I believe. Did I pay the 20? There's 20. Okay, I don't know if I paid the 20. You guys will let me know. I will find out later. Gosh, okay. I don't remember either. I don't remember, yeah. So that, there goes that money, just in case. Uh, so I get four tiles, wow. So now the, the whole world is open. I can get them from, from pretty much anywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take this one, which will continue the dream. Wow, right Naveen's here. pipe network. One, two, three, four, five. This That's is great. One, two, three, four. So then I'm gonna take that one. I'll take this one, two. So that's now one, two, three, four. Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I think I'm gonna take this pipe right here. And I will anchor so that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'll take this one and I'll put it. Gosh, my pipe network is not looking as <laughs> so i didn't anticipate this uh nice. this is gonna go here actually i'll just put oh, gosh i don't want to i don't want to pigeonhole myself i have to move my entire network over because i didn't anticipate where it was gonna go so i'm gonna leave it there for right now and i'll clean it up in a little bit <laughs> okay <laughs> i mean we get it you get it right yeah. yeah okay i hope it doesn't have to encroach further uh, and i get one more tile so one two three four five this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow. Which is really a thirteen, which means I am short by just a little bit here. So what I'll do is I'll take this one, and then this will hook here, and make it just a gigantic one. So it's going to be wow. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Wow. Which is really fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So it, it it's maxed. That one is maxed. Okay. And Amazing. those are my four that I took right there. I hope I didn't overpay an extra 20. And that is that part. Oh, so I'm actually supposed to go right there. Yeah. So you're going to st stay first? Uh, Yeah, well, I'm debating if I want to go to the refined market. Oh, okay. Refined market one. 
because now that I have these these pipelines, I should probably do it. So I'm gonna spend 10 bucks to go here and I will buy two of these right here. Okay, so $20 total. Yeah. So you get $80 back. 50, 60, 70, and if I can find a 10 here. You know, I got so excited. I was supposed to buy one of these also before moving. So I'm gonna pay, uh, give me 20 less because I'm gonna buy another update, upgrade this one. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna pay 20 bucks. So that's probably confusing. Yes. He was going back to his previous action. Right. You can upgrade twice. Yeah. So uh, basically I'm gonna take these two for 20 bucks. So that way I don't have to take a whole turn doing it and mm -hmm. it gives me space to put these guys out here. Now those are there. And now I'm gonna actually run my pipes. So here is our, with my machine. So I'm gonna spend, um, Wait, so you have to finish blocking off the upgrades. Oh yeah, yeah, so this is me. Are you gonna block off a third? And I will, let me see what's over here. Okay, I'm gonna block off the, I'll block off the free uh, secondary actions. Okay. All right. And then now I'm gonna run my pipes. So uh, I'm gonna spend 50 and get 35 back. Okay. And then I will show you exactly what I do. So. <laughs> Okay, so my machines are attached to this gray, gray, and a blue, and a blue. I only have two blue cubes. So this is a one, two, three, four, five, because this tile makes it six. So this is gonna move up here. And this is a one, two, three, four, five, six. It's all, it's a max. Yeah. We, we know it's a max. So yeah, it's a max. It's gonna go max. And then I'm gonna satisfy half of this contract here, because that's gonna be a problem over there. <laughs> so I'm gonna over, overshoot the contract and I'm gonna get 35 back. Nice, wow, what a turn. Yeah. What a turn. Thank you. And that is my turn. I don't know if I turn. completely know what happened there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, so for my turn, I'm gonna go to the crude market and I need to purchase some raw materials. And also at the start of my turn, because I have the level one shop, I get two tanks. Nice, yeah. So just these two, and I might as well do something like that. All right, so I have a ton. We, too bad we don't have the valuation for the tanks. Yeah, there's one that's um, in there, yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna purchase two orange, so two ten. gray, uh, 22 and a blue so 29 dollars 10 plus 12 plus 7. yep 29. 29 so here's 30 and i get a dollar back we'll discount and then i am not going to do the secondary action but i am going to spend 15 dollars to run my machine which will give me a low grade blue a mid-grade gray and a mid-grade orange nice very, very nice. So that's me. And that was action number one. So we're going to action number two and Naveen gets to go first okay, so again. First. Okay, action two, uh, I need materials. So I'm gonna go to the crude market here. I know you robbed it a little. <laughs> I was worried that you were gonna so, rob it first, actually. I want it, well, but alas. I wanted those free, well, not not free, but but the upgrade, it gave me four tiles to expand my network. So you pretty much, uh, it was a... You played the upgrade game. You really <sighs> did. Yeah, we'll see if it pays off though. So, okay. It is I my turn. So. I know, me too. So it is my turn. So I will be buying stuff. So what is attached to machines? Gray and blue basically is attached to machines. So I will buy gray and blue. I'll buy two and two. Okay. Two gray, two blue. So that's 16 plus seven plus nine. What is that? Help me out. You bought, sorry? Uh, so 16 plus 16 actually, that's what it is, 32. 32? Yeah. Goodbye money. Oh, you have a lot of it. 30, no, you have a lot of money. One, two, 32. Hopefully I didn't spend 20 extra getting those upgrades. <laughs> okay, I mean, 32. We'll find out later. Yeah. Okay. We and will the, find out later. We will definitely true. find out later. We will know Are you fact. spending $10 to move across the pond? Uh, Definitely not. Okay. Yeah, I don't think so. So I'm gonna run my machine. Oh, so okay. I'm gonna spend 15 bucks and we have a max blue, right? Because we. Talked about that. Mm -hmm. We have a one, two, three, four, which is enough for a min gray. We have a min. one, two, three, four, five, six, Let's seven, eight, gray. nine, ten, which is a medium grade. So it's gonna go here and then satisfy the contract, but I'll do that in a second. And uh, we have a one, two, three, four, five, a low grade. So everything got moved up. And then this one is gonna be moved over to satisfy this contract right over here. So you me are- 35 bucks. You. You are no longer obligated by the contract. Imprisoned by the contract. Correct. It's Thirty-five. Now you have a bank right there. Just so you know. I do. <laughs> I do. Are you finished with your turn? 
Uh, yes, that is it. All right, I am gonna go to um, Refine Market number three, which is here. It's my first time visiting this market. And I'm going to sell my mid-grade gray and my low-grade blue. So for a total of $75, uh, 50, 60, 75. Okay. And then I'm going to purchase um, two orange for, for 14. 14. Yeah. So I did all my selling first and then I'm doing my purchasing. So, wow, I'm $1 short. So here, 15, let me get a dollar back. Okay. And then I think I want to go across the way. 10 so bucks. I'm going to spend 10 bucks. And I'm going to take first. Nice. Just for fun. And I am going to Machines and Pipes, where I think I will purchase some pipes. Pipe time? All it of is them? pipe time. No. I'm going to spend $15. Oh, I'm a dollar short again. Mm. So Making some change. 50 minus 15 is 35, I'm thinking. Okay. Is that right? That's it, yeah, 35. Okay. That would be 35. it. 35. And so I'm taking two of these pipes. I don't remember which ones I wanted is the problem. Mm. Let's see. This goes to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Can 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I guess we shouldn't really overthink this one too much. I'm just going to take these two. Okay, sounds good. And I'm going to connect them right there, just so we have another uh, pipeline going. you running going. your machine? Yes. So these four are for here. I don't know if that's going to be confusing to you. That's sound that looks good, yeah. And then these are for here. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to run my machine. 15 bucks. So here's $15. And it's going to give me a mid-grade gray for this one. For this one, it gives me a mid-grade orange. And I believe this actually gives me a low-grade orange. So that's cool. That um, cool. I'm actually going to go back in time because Naveen is so Genius. nice to allow me to do this. But I'm, I'm buying one more of these orange. I miscalculated. I was supposed to buy one more for 10. So, And I did have enough space uh, to hold them because I only moved up three of them. So, nope, I guess we go into our third action. Oh, yeah. there you go. And now I'm going to go first this That's time. Right. So, ooh, I knocked these all off with my hair. <laughs> the challenges of long hair. Okay, I'm going to go to Refine Market 2. Okay. And I'm going to purchase a gray for $6. Okay. Just the one, two, three. Oh my god, I'm constantly short <laughs> a dollar. Here's 10, take back four. One, two, three, four. You could have given 11, taking back five. Ah, yeah, that's <laughs> true. Uh, I'm gonna spend $10 to go across the way to Tanks and Pipes. I'm gonna keep my first uh, turn order and I'm gonna spend $15. Oh gosh, all the change. Can you make me change, please? <laughs> sure, what do you, okay, what, what, are you gonna end up running things? Yeah. Okay. So just give me, um, Give me 70, 70 back. 70, 70 back. back. Okay. And I'm going to take two pipes from here. So I might as well take this one. This is going to start running off I'm gonna give this to you. of my grid here. That one and... Still in camera sight. Or so maybe I should do it like this. And then go vertical. Just in... Yeah. yeah. Just like that. Just keep it neat. Just keep it neat. So now this silver goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Which is Are you 13. serious? <laughs> Never mind. I'm going to not take these two. I'm going to take this one and this one instead. Okay. We might as well just elongate the uh, the orange pipes then. This is just for endgame scoring for me. So I'm going to do that. Just go on top of the board. It's fine. We're going to okay. do that. So now this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Which, because I have this engineering upgrade, what is that, 17? 17, yeah. Okay, so nice. then that's a full, right? It's a full run. That would be a full run. Okay, perfect. That's that's what I needed. And then I already paid the $15 by you giving me change, right? Uh -huh. To run my machines? Correct. So I'm going to run, this is going to go up to high grade because of this. This is gonna go to low grade and this is gonna go all the way to the top actually very nice so I see what you're up to that's what I'm working with I see what you're doing okay very good my turn yeah wow 
I'm actually gonna stay in the crude market over here. So I'm gonna buy, uh, I'm gonna buy one silver for sure, which is gonna be 10. Okay. And well, I guess I don't have to stay in the crude market to do this. So I'm not gonna do it from the crude market. I'm gonna go to a uh, refined market two over here. Yeah, refined market two. And I'm gonna take uh, one silver for six. So you buy that with six. Oh, I'm in the same situation. Okay. Yeah. 10. Ah, uh, that changed. Minus four. Two, three, four. Okay. Okay, so I bought one silver. And okay. then now I am going to head on over to Tanks and Pipes for 10 bucks. So there we go, 10 bucks. And then I'm gonna go first. You are going first. Yeah. And then Tanks and Pipes, uh, I'm more... So this is tanks and pipes. This is actually my pipe right there. Yeah. So I'm more interested in the pipe side of it, not so much the tanks. These are the only two that are I'll left. just take them. Yeah, okay. for fifteen so bucks. Fifteen bucks. And I'll try to make these work somehow. Good luck. Thanks. So I'll go here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I do this eleven, twelve, then that becomes a max. So I'll do that. That's that, and then this becomes, I will do that right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so um, now I'm going to run my machines. Machine? Oh, I was like, you have more than one machine? No, machine oh, no. Yeah. So it's that. Uh, okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, enough to go, you know, to the next level here, to mm -hmm. the mid-grade. So that's that one. Uh, this one right here can take me all the way to the highest grade. Uh, and then my grays are, this one can go up to this level here. And this one can go up to this level here because of the, the network that I built up. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and overpay and satisfy one of these orders. I'm going to satisfy this order here. So this requires three mid grades and two low grades. I'm going to do these two for that. This one for that, and then these two. Oh, you overpaid a lot. For that, that's okay. Yeah, that's it, fine. You know, it ran, so. Uh, right. So it's gonna be uh, 45 times three plus 30 times two. Wait, okay, so we have 90 plus 45 is? 135. 135 plus, what's the other one? Plus, two of these? Yeah, 130. So it's 135? 195. Yeah, 195. Uh, do you have five bucks? Uh, I don't have five bucks. Oh but my here, gosh. I can make it five bucks. Give me two fives. <laughs> okay, we're gonna make some change. Yeah. One second, here. There we go. So and then now make... give me 200 bucks. Yeah. Here's 100. <laughs> and give it to you in 50s. Sure. There. 200. Okay. Yep. Okay. That was my turn. All right. Final turn of the game. Yeah. Boom. Naveen, you are first. It is I. Although you don't have any more uh, oil barrels. What are you planning on doing with your last action? Uh, Probably buy a machine, I'm thinking. Oh gosh, and you're gonna just score the heck out of your pipes. I'm thinking. Okay, go for it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I get eight, nine, that's times two. Okay, so I will do that. I'm gonna go to machines and pipes, and we'll just say I go first for housekeeping. <laughs> I will buy these two for 15 and this one for 20. So this is gonna cost me- uh, That's good. How much money is this going to cost me, Monique? I don't remember. 35? Uh, 35, yes. There we go, 35. <laughs> so I'm going to pay 50 <laughs> and get my 15 back. Well, are you going to run your... Oh, no, you don't. Uh, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to place this orange here. So that makes it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, no. Am I short? I hope so. Oh, no. I think I'm short. <laughs> No. Oh no, that like moment of silent thought, that realization. Oh. <laughs> I had that, that moment earlier brute. too. One, two, three, four, oh, no. five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. The thing about the machine is it, it removes spots. Yeah, so that, that makes pipe. it eight plus two is 10 and that requires 11. No. Okay, <laughs> okay, wait. Hold right. on, hold on, hold right, on. We'll hold on. Is it worth it then to buy it? And there's no need to buy these. I might as well keep 15 points, right? Yes, I would agree with that. You still want the machine? I still want the machine to put it here. Okay. Because it'll keep... be something connected to a machine. And if then that's this not going to do anything for you. 
Because this will score in valuation here. Yeah, you're plus well here. There. So yeah, I'm gonna take fifteen bucks back. And I can't buy multiple machines, can I? You can totally buy. You can buy all the machines if you want. Really? Yeah. You know, I'm taking my money back. I will put this one right over here. And refine market three. Do I want to go there? If I do, I can refine. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think it's worth it to to jump over there for ten plus pay nine plus fifteen to run it. So that'll be my game right there. Is it? That's it. Yeah. I don't. I don't think there's another legal placement of a machine that'll get me more stuff. All right. So then it goes back to me um, for my final turn. And I really want to make this work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have an eight length segment. If I want to go, if I want to take it to the end here, I need it to be 14 in length. So right now it's technically 10 because of this. If I want to take it to the limit, I need four more segments of silver pipe. This will do it. Oh, I'm no. going to go here. <laughs> I'm going to buy two for 10. Oh, I eyed that one so long ago, like early in the game. I'm going to buy these two. <laughs> And I'm going to do one of these things, just like that. That gave me an extra four. Yep. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen. Thirty four to fifteen, yep. And it needs fourteen. Okay, good. Yes, that worked. That's good. Are you going to satisfy two um, orders here? I'm going to try. So then now Gosh. I'm going to run my machine. So Can't 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And uh, this machine, I mean, this is technically going to go to the top, but I mean, who cares? And I this care. is also <laughs> going to get to the top. And um, these are all going to go bye bye anyway. Yes. So I'm just going to leave them all I where see they what are. You're doing. And I'm going to fulfill two orders. The first order is this one. So it's four. Crush. It's technically supposed to be four mid grade, but I do have these two high grades. I'm overpaying a little bit, but so, it doesn't matter. So 45 times four so is it's 180. Uh, 180, yeah. So it's 180 for this. Yeesh, that's going to score twice. So let's take that now before I forget how much that is. 150, 60, 70. And then you're going to be able to do this one right here, right? Yeah, so that was the another, big master plan. Another one. I saw you go in for a lot of blue, so I was like, well, I'm going to do the orange and gray then. Yeah. So I'm going to fulfill this one as well. So it's actually one high grade, one mid grade, which I'm overpaying for, and a low grade. So 130. So it's, yeah, one of each. 55. 55 plus 45 is 100 plus oh, 30. Oh, 130, yeah. Good. Sorry, if I didn't believe you for a second there. I know, it's okay. <laughs> So 130. So that's really 260. Okay. And the other one is really uh, 360. 10, 20. Because of this valuation that we have here. That's... My pipes are not as that impressive, so we'll see. And that's no, it. They're pretty impressive. They're... That's the end of the game for me. Same. So are you ready to go into final scoring? Mm -hmm. Okay, the first thing that happens is we evaluate the contracts, make sure that whoever has contracts were, was actually able to fulfill them. I was. So just Naveen. I had this one contract here. Okay, so then you can remove those cubes and keep, keep the contract, sure. although it's not really going to do anything for you yeah. anymore. Sometimes these, these uh, will yeah, be good for your contracts. There's but... some valuations that let you score uh, depending on contracts. Correct. Uh, your oil barrels, n none of us have any oil have barrels no oil, left yeah. over, so it's, nobody scores for that. Good. Now we score for our actual pipelines. Uh, do, Whether they're attached to machines or not. Yeah, right? regardless of, of what's going on with them. Do you want to go first? Sure, I'll go first. Uh, let's just assess from here. So it's got one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so that's one of these. So it's a low grade. The low 10. grade is 10. Yeah, and then okay. this, uh, then it's basically just everything else that's coming out of this machine. We have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, which is another uh, low another grade. 10. 10. Okay. Then we have uh, this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 15, which 13, is 14, 15, so yeah. 30. So 30. Okay, so you're at 50 so far. Yeah, and then I have this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, which is good enough, another 10. Okay. And then this one is uh, another max, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, yeah. So another max. So you, you have 10. Uh, I do have 10, yeah. Okay, because you got 90. I got 90. For okay. that, yeah. So for mine, um, I have two that are maxed, which are these, the silver and this orange. So two thirties. So two thirties, which is going to be 60. Um, this blue one is just a one, two, three, four, five, six. So just it's just a 10. And then this orange is one, two, three, four, five, six another as 10. well as so another 10. And I think those are all, oh no, I have this one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Nice. Another 10. Another 10. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize I had that. I could have been using that this whole yeah. time. And that's it. Well, you'd have to put your pawn on there or your, your meeple on there in order to use it. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so I had an idea as well in that category. Uh, and then we do our valuations. So let's start with the the val valuation that's in every game, this one, which is value of pipelines attached that are attached to, to machines. machines. So we're going to do the same pipeline scoring, just only the ones that are actually attached to the machines. So which so, ones are those for you? Well, it's going to be the same exact thing. Everything is that I counted was attached to a machine, so it's going to be another 90. Points. Oh, another 90. Okay, so do you have a 10? Uh, I do, yeah. Yeah, sure. That, and mine is going to be... Um, I think I had 90 in the end. Minus 10, right? Minus 10 for this. Because that's not attached. That's to not attached. Yeah, so, so 80 for you. 80. So 50, 60, 70, 80. Okay. Our money is looking like a mess over here. Mm -hmm. uh, next valuation. Do you want to do this one? Yeah, sure. Uh, Value to 0 to 100, basically, pipelines. A pipeline that in one run, that can go all the way to high grade. So I have two of those. So okay. that's going to be uh, 60. Another 60. So 30 times 2. And the reason why we're applying these numbers is because if you can go from um, crude to low grade, that's $10. Mm -hmm. Crude to mid grade is 20 and then crude to high grade is 30. 30. And it's on this little sheet right over here. It's a little bit hard to see. Okay. Uh, so I get 60. Uh, I can give you some. You back. might want to start using your, your uh, dip into your yeah, bowl. I'll just, I'll just take it right now. Okay. There we go. Uh, so I also have two that go all the way. Here's your 60. Oh, thank you. Okay. Do you want to do the top right? What's that? Uh, yeah, let's do the top right. Number of pipeline types attached to machines. So there's nine total types. And, so. and the different types are orange of low, mid, high, blue of low, mid, high, etc. So that's yeah. why there's nine. So, so I think I have five of them. So but I are just... they only attached to machines? Yep. Okay, go ahead. So I have this one that's attached to this machine. That's why I wanted to put this in there. So it's one, two, three, four. It's just this one orange that I have in okay. the game. So that's one. Uh, I have a full um, gray and a low gray. So it's two, that's three. three. Then I have a full blue and a low blue. So that's five of them. Five. According to this chart, five is 150. So I'll take 150 bucks. Okay. Uh, I only have one machine. So the, the most I can have is four. And all four are types unique. of pipes are unique because I have one full gray, one full orange, and two. And this is a, a low orange and a low blue. So what's so four? Four is 100. Okay. So $100 for that yep. one. And then the final valuation is the orders that we were able to fulfill, we get the money again. So yeah. it's like these are worth twice, twice the amount during our yeah. game. So it kind of really influenced the game. Yeah. So this was... Uh, that was 195, I believe. So it's... 45 times 3 is 135, plus 60 is 90. Or 195? 195, yeah. 195, and this one? Uh, that's another... That's like yours, that so one, 130. 55... Plus 45 is 100. 100 plus 130, 30. so 130 plus 195. Two, three, twenty-five. Three twenty-five. That sounds about right. About right. It was one thirty-five. One thirty. One thirty. To one ninety-five. Yeah. So one. Which yeah. Three twenty-five. Three twenty-five. Okay. So mine are this one, which is the one of each uh, grade. So I am. That's probably one thirty, right? Fifty-five plus forty-five. Plus it's the 30. one that I just scored. It's it's very similar to the one. Yeah. So yeah, one thirty. One thirty. Okay. I have four mid grades, which is one eighty. Yep. And then I have Oof. two mid grades, which is 90, uh -huh. plus two low grades, which 60. is 60. 460. Okay, so Yeesh. I'm going to take a 500 and give back 40. One, two, three, four. And that is all of the valuations. So the last scoring, thing yeah. is we pay penalties. I so paid, I didn't take any penalty cube, but Naveen one, did. So I paid 20 bucks out. 20 bucks out. Goodbye. And now we are going to count all of our money, and we will report back with our final score. Good luck, Naveen. <laughs> Ready? Uh, yeah, I have my number. Well, at the count of three? Yeah, sure. One, two, three. 994. Whoa. Okay, one at a time. Okay. What did you get? I got 994. Oh, that's close. I got 1154. 1154. That was valuations. Whoa, broke a, broke a thousand. Not me. I was trying by six. Yeah, you all, almost. <laughs> I mean, that was... It is a high scoring game. Yeah, it sounds like a, a high scoring game. Well, we had that valuation that lets you score your, your orders twice. twice so yeah. that's going to naturally make it a higher scoring game. Totally. Yep. So yep. you win again. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Well, we just finished our two player playthrough of Pipeline. Monique got me. Not by a whole lot. Those I mean, orders game, at the end. Yeah. They, they're double. That was nice. They were double. But you so. built the infrastructure from the ground up.
I tried to get it going. So um, I mean, we might have made mistakes, but that is Pipeline. That's it. So this review is a little bit different because this is a game that was off our shelf. So mm -hmm. we already know how we feel about it. It's yep. not like we're discovering this game for the first time. Um, but before we start the review, I do want to mention that the reason why we decided to play this was because not only did we get a few messages from people who wanted to see the game played, but also because we're doing it in celebration of the Curious Cargo pre-orders. So we didn't talk about it too much during the gameplay, but um, the similarities in Curious Cargo is it's, it's so it's two player only. Mm -hmm. It's quite thinky, and the reason why is because the whole like pipe. Uh, the, the pipe puzzle that comes in this game is going to be in there as well. Mm -hmm. And so it's very tight because you're you're pushing orders back and forth between players. Like you're, you're delivering cargo back and forth and you have to get your pipes in line just like in this game. Gotcha. The, the difference is there's no actual physical money. So, um, so I haven't played that one. You have. Played. He hasn't played it. Yeah. I played it. It's quite good. I, I really like... Uh, to, we both really like two-player games that, that are very thinky. And so that, that one is very... Very thinky. Yeah, one of them. So if you're interested in it, it's pre-orders are um, are live until Monday, uh, the 17th, because today is the 15th. Yeah, 17th yeah. of August. Now, if you're watching this video in three years, it's, Sorry, it ended it's three gone. years ago. It's yeah. probably available. <laughs> yeah, it's somewhere. Uh, okay, so now, what did you think? What do you think? Well, you know what game? I think about this game. <laughs> I, I, I love the game. Um, there's a lot of variability in the game, which is great. Uh, these tiles, I think every single one of these is unique and there's like 120 of these yes in the game. okay let's start with theme yeah, just because sure. it's a quite an involved game i think the theme is awesome i had this is when this game came out on the market last year i a friend of ours told us like you have to play this game it's called pipeline it's about uh, refining oil and we were like i've never heard of a game game like that before mm -hmm. and then when we actually started playing it wow it's it's very interesting it's so different from anything that i've ever played at least and the reason why is because it has both the um, monetary, it's an economic game, economic it's game, an unforgiving super, yeah. economic game, but it also has that puzzly uh, abstract part of getting your pipes in line. So the theme is super interesting to me. Mm -hmm. What about you? Yeah, I like the theme. Um, you know, you're, you're taking these, this crude oil and you're trying to build up a network of pipes so that you have the ability to refine it to this high level. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's cool the, the thematic elements of your meeple is like it's a uh, man-made run machines but then when you get the machines in there mm -hmm. then it becomes automated right, right so right. it saves you turns things like that so that your worker can go out and do other things uh instead so i think the theme is is loosely there you know what i mean yeah the theme is loosely there but i mean economic games are like that. economic games are kind of like that yeah <laughs> yeah components wise it's beautiful the, the great components yeah really, you know really tool nice. Does it again? I mean, that's going to be the same thing that we're going to say every time we play a game that Ian O'Toole has yeah. has illustrated. It's really but nice. it's really beautiful. Like this top part is very much like uh, a watercolor painting, and so mm -hmm. is the box. The box is beautiful. It's yeah. beautiful. Uh, so I have no issues with the components. The only thing is, I wish there was a twenty. A oh yeah, a denomination of twenties. There's no twenty dollar denomination. I w that's the only thing. But which other than that. we we found to be odd. Uh, what about player count and replayability? What do you think? Um, well, there, like like I said, there's a lot of variability in the game. So I love when games aren't just cookie cutter. Like obviously you're going to be doing the same thing, building a network and trying to get the most efficient network possible. Mm -hmm. But the pipe tiles are so different. You know, they're never going to come out in the same way. You have those four quadrants and sometimes you can get locked out of a quadrant. Um, the valuations are different. There's different uh, yeah, upgrades. The like, valuations and, and the upgrades yeah, they, really change the feel of the game. Like this one, with that valuation out there that said double your orders, it basically drove us to be like, oh, we need to go get those orders. Absolutely. Filled. Yeah. So it, it kind of influences the way you're going to play. Um, totally. And so that that's basically, I was not going to the refined market to just sell off to make a little, a quick buck right, in right, this right. particular game. Because I knew like, I was like, if I sell that off, now I have to work my way all the way back around to get this thing in order up to, get the orders. to go get the order. So yeah. I'm not gonna go to the refined market. Some games, people just go to the refined market, make a quick buck and then go churn and turn that, that money into something mm -hmm. else. So. And for some people, they get a lot of contracts. I don't know how you yeah. can make contracts work. I'm not in the contract game. Yeah, this contract that I had, like it, it was, it was great the first round because it's like okay instant money i don't have to waste a turn to right. go to go make money but after a while it, it really ties it, you it down. ties you down you're like oh, i gotta go commit to satisfying this contract i i'm wondering if almost like i should have just taken the penalty on it and then used that for something else maybe you know that that's another strategy right that, that's there but in terms of the the variability the government or sorry not government 
the upgrades change as well. There are two more categories of upgrades that we did not use because you just mix and match five. Mm -hmm. Supposed to have five of them. But even the distribution of the orders and contracts, as well as the values of the actual yeah. uh, pipe segments, right. the top left hand corner of the board, yeah, those change. Ones every game and if you want a more difficult uh game there's actually a seven marker because right now they're only four fives and sixes yes but you can play with a seven to make it just that much harder to reach those those segments so lots of really good stuff there what about the two player versus the three or four um i think we've played it at all player counts now. yeah we have and um it's great at all player counts the only thing is at four sometimes that uh at least early on in the game, the government tiles can get really wiped up and whoever's going fourth could Poor. find themselves like, <laughs> I still have 40 bucks and all these tiles are gone. Uh-oh, what am I going to do? Yeah. So The four-player game is definitely more stressful. Yeah. There aren't any less government pipe tiles in a two-player game. Yeah, unlike uh, the contracts, the orders, yeah. the machines. Everything else scales except for that. Right. So in a four-player game, and, and I, I feel like at least in the beginning, the government pipe tiles is like your main source of pipe. It's your best bang for your buck, I think, <laughs> it is. at the beginning. Yeah. It is, definitely. And so that's going to be frustrating for player number four. You're right. Yeah, because you can see like an isolated, like, just one isolated this, you, you don't want to waste your whole first turn just putting a meeple on it to get right. a two segment. And then what are you going to do with that? You know? Yeah. And then also in a two player game, like what we just played, it's a lot easier to see that, okay, Naveen is heavily invested in blue. Yeah. I'm going to go for orange and maybe a second color along the way and then kind of see which orders I can take from there, that kind of thing. Yeah. In a four player game, it's a lot harder to, to, to gauge uh, into time. Yeah. To react to three other people's Right. Because um, if you get stuck right? going fourth, a couple times in a row like you're just you're just waiting around and hoping that they don't do what you need yeah yeah absolutely so i do like it at higher player counts i think i think this oh, you do i think so yeah well oh, i like, I like it, the two player i like it at two because it's back and forth you know i'm not waiting around and the board state doesn't change where it's like well i was going to get that machine for 20 now i guess i don't have the money for it mm -hmm. uh, at 30 so i do like the fact that i can just go back and forth but in a four player game i like the ability of other players to to help defend against another player mm -hmm. you know yeah that's true that that is, I, that's true you know what i'm saying yeah. um i highly prefer the two player game uh, mainly because i prefer it to be a little bit less it's already a stressful game like this is quite yeah. this is a quite stressful game and at two, it's it's less so. Uh, you know, in higher player counts, those upgrades are going to be taken like this. Yeah. You know, with with us, I could I felt like I had the ability to wait a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, there's way less AP, or it's it's going to be much faster in a two player game because this game can cause significant AP, just like a significant amount of AP. Yeah, I mean, there's there's and, that AP of just looking at tiles down there and be like. Okay, this is my network. I think that one will fit yeah, here, but I don't want to go and grab the tile. the tiles around and yeah. like there's a lot of people play the version of you pick it up, you buy it. Right. And for some people, people's brains just don't work that way. Right. So there's it, it's tough. It's tough. But I do prefer the two player game. And then now in terms of just overall mechanics, what are your thoughts? I think it's pretty easy, straightforward when you learn exactly, you know, what, what's going on. Everything is laid out for you. You know, these these eight uh, moves that are on the board. Um, I think it's very mechanically sound. I think going to the crude market where you can buy all of all of things, um, you can go to the refined market where the two things that you can sell is not the one thing you can buy. So yeah. uh, that gets a little frustrating. Um, lots of min-maxing. Lots of min-maxing in the game. So um, I, I think it plays very, very smoothly though. Yeah. Um, some people may think it's a little wonky with like the tiles and stuff, but I mean, you know that that's part of the game i don't agree yeah i don't yeah. agree with that um, i agree with you on the fact that this is a simple game it's not complicated to learn mm -hmm. you only have three rounds and each round it gets shorter and shorter it does yeah and you can see all the actions laid out for you so that part of it is really simple and when you take your turn it's just one action unless you choose pay 10 to, go you know, to pay 10 but yeah. that's not technically if there's if nobody like sits there and like has to like think out their actions in full it can be a very fast game it could yeah so i do really appreciate the um the elegance of that of this design uh i don't know if i agree with blocking off an upgrade we, yeah we like burning the bridge that. behind you yeah there's there's got to be some reason behind that but gosh that's frustrating because it's like yeah. now it's blocked off for the whole year yeah you can't even cycle back around if, right. if the opportunity arose where nobody took it and then you can go back there and go buy the thing that you've blocked yeah. off up, upgrades are tough. Uh, contracts, I 
have yet to play a game where I went contract heavy. Just because you take them, they pay you less, and yeah. now you're in, you're you're tied down to having to to go play that contract, that contract every single yeah. time. For me, I would rather just waste the action to sell at the refined markets. So I'm, I'm wondering if the contract can be used as a cheap way to get a loan. Maybe you I've know? I've heard that there are people who incorporate contracts quite heavily into their strategy. Well, you, I'm just not one of them. You take a contract, you use it for the money that you can then use to go do something else and then just take the penalty in a, in a subsequent year. Because hey, the maybe. same thing as, as taking a, a loan, kind of. It depends on the, the flow of the game, obviously. I mean, okay, that's another thing that I really like about this game. It is simple enough, but there's so much strategy. Like you can play this game over and over again, mm -hmm. try to think oh, of yeah. what the best opening moves are, how you would react to opponents in an opening move scenario. But I will say that this game is very unforgiving. <laughs> Yes, it can be very, very unforgiving. Very unforgiving. Yeah. You, if you're a player who likes to kind of um, change your mind as you go and like, oh, I'm going to try this here. You know, like there are a lot of mm -hmm. games that are like that. that kind of reward you for doing a mix of things. This is not one of them, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. I feel like you start the game, you analyze the board, you analyze the valuations and you think of a plan and you try your best to go with that plan. Yeah, you have right? to analyze the entire board. You, you have, have to analyze to. how how big are the pipes. You have to analyze what contracts are available. The orders are permanently on the board. The government tiles never change. So you have to be like, okay, if I don't get my first pick in, in quadrant one or two, quadrant three and four, I still have to be aware that in year two and mm -hmm. year three that these things are going to come up and right. have, have be more available. Um, and you're dealing with so much scarcity. Totally. Like that's that's one of the things that like you feel like you're suffocating all the way through the game until the end. Yeah, I think right? my, yeah, I think my favorite part of the game though is there's an economy, there's a double economy in this game. So at the very beginning of the game, you have no money. Right. And as the game progresses, you have all, all this money, but you have no time. Right, and right, I think right, it's right. cool how it just completely flips like that. Uh, yeah, that's about... something that um, one of our, the friend who taught yeah. this game to us, that's what she was totally. saying. It's yeah. like, you're constantly debating between uh, spend, having time or having money, right? right? And you know, you go through the whole first year thinking, gosh, there's only two more years and even less actions each year. How am I going to do anything? Because you pretty much finish the whole first year without, maybe, maybe even without a machine, without, yeah. and suddenly it just starts snowballing. I think we right? finished the year with, 13 bucks or something like that? <laughs> yeah, yeah something the first like, year, yeah. Something really disheartening. <laughs> yeah, I had like but, oil that was crude and like 12 bucks or something like yeah. that, yeah. But it does get better, right? It gets easier. It starts uh, snowballing. As it soon does, as you, yes. you fulfill like your first order, wow, you have all this money and suddenly the, the rest of the game opens up for you. Yeah, once you can get to almost like that first 100 or that first like 80 bucks, then you're like, okay, now, yeah. I, can, now I can work with this, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. So, I mean, that is pretty much it for Pipeline. In the end, I I find it to be quite good. It's quite frustrating, mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, I love it in a in an unconventional way because I'm not usually this big on economic games, but it's a good one. Yep. And you? Yeah, love it. I, I like economic games. Uh, this yeah. game is all about efficiency. Um, it's a, about awareness. You have to have awareness in this game also. So I love it. Yeah. Yeah. And that is Pipeline. I just so you know, if there are any other pipeline lovers out there, there's going to be an expansion coming out for this yeah, game. Yeah. I believe it's set to be like by the holidays. Okay. And I know all I know really is that there are gonna be more uh, more valuations. There are going to be increasing levels of the the values for the pipes. Oh wow. Yeah, it's like each round they increase by one or something like that. Oh, so okay. yeah, it's gonna be a lot harder. Gotcha. So if you're okay. looking for a challenge, that's coming out soon. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next week, we will be starting with our Alexander Fister series, and we are going to be starting with Port Royal. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.